morning everyone. So I'm finishing up the cow feeding right now. Dad is bringing some bedding over for the heifer barn. I had some people asking about these heifers with the green nose rings on. Sometimes heifers can try and suck on each other like a calf would to a cow and they don't have milk but it can actually bring them into milk a little bit in one of their quarters. So then they'll come into the barn and they can have a dead quarter sometimes. They'll have only three teats that have milk. If we ever see them sucking on another heifer, we'll put one of them rings on and it just, if they go to try and suck on one, there's little spikes on it. It'll just poke them and they'll run away. On the days it's not supposed to rain, we just park the mixer outside, ready for the afternoon feeding. It's nice to not get a bunch of rain inside the mixer. I'll go help close this barn up, and then the hoof trimmer's coming this morning. He'll probably be here in half an hour. We're gonna sort cows out for him then. Dad just put his fourth scoop in, so I think we're ready to close up. The old faithful New Holland. Probably the next machine on the list to replace. We just moved a group of youngins in yesterday. I keep a good eye on them, make sure they're eating. It's 8 a.m. Hoof trimmer just showed up. We're gonna put some shavings in that alley and go back in there. We trim cows once a month. Every cow gets trimmed once a year. We always just trim the, the group that we're gonna be drying up in the next month. And I think most of you know what a dry cow is, but if you don't, it is the, uh, the cows that are about to have another calf. We stopped milking them for two months. We got about 15 cows to trim today. We're just sorting them out now. 696. Yeah. Sometimes we have to do half before breakfast and half after, but today there's not that many. We'll just do one group. I'll be back in a bit then to help clean up. Gotta go help with the uh, baby. It's been nice this time of year. Things are a little slower. I could spend some more time in the house with the uh, young kids. He's only got one more cow left. We only had a cow or two that were kind of sore that he had to check. The rest is just maintenance trimming. 
He's finished trimming, hooking that thing up. It went pretty quick this morning. We'll just clean up this clean shavings. Let the cows back down to eat. We just like to give the cows a little more traction and comfort while they're waiting to be trimmed. So they're not slipping and falling or anything. Should be set there. Today we're actually gonna take a little trip. There's a farm about an hour and a half away. It has one of those slat scraping robots. We had visited a farm last year and this is another guy that has one. So we're just trying to make sure it's something we actually want before we go and buy one. Hey guys, so a couple days have passed. Just got the cattle trailer hooked up. I have one cow we wanna sell at the beef sale today. I'm just going to back up to that door right there. I got this set up. Cow's out in group four. We'll go sort her out. The other day we finished up hoof trimming and we drove to a farm to see their Lily Discovery floor cleaning robot. I'll show you a picture of what one looks like I have here. It's just a little unit that drives around the floors. You can see how clean the floors are there in that picture. So we, certain spots in the barn aren't too bad like this. It's just cause there's a lot of cows walking through this area and not as much manure, but the alleys where the cows are most of the time, there's actually a decent layer of manure. You know, the slatted floors let all the liquid fall straight through, but the manure kind of has to be stepped through and worked its, works its way down eventually. A little while ago, I mentioned we were thinking about getting one and I had a couple people comment. I'd really appreciate if you guys have experience with these little units, if, if you find them to be worth it or if they're just a pain. So I want to sort out number 628 from group four. This is a big white cow. I have to go find her. So this cow almost always perches. She doesn't like to lay in a stall properly. Most of the cows, they'll come in and lay down, but there's one that just, she's always standing two feet up in the front and two feet off in the back alleyway. I don't know if that hurts her production or what, but she, yeah, she's not a great producer. Our barn's getting very full, so we're, we're kind of looking for any cows to sell right now. So right here, this is what this cow's always doing. Now you could say, well, maybe our neck rail's back too far. She doesn't have enough space to step up there, but I don't believe that's the case. We're thinking about moving our neck rails up a little bit, but like that cow there's a very big cow. She still fits in there. Um, and those neck rails are kind of cushiony. They're the soft material. Uh, the, the brackets are rubber. They have some cushion to them. So there's no reason why she shouldn't step up in there and lay down. It's just the reality of our business. Most of the cows that come onto the farm end up being sold for beef. Uh, it actually really hurts us if we have cows dying. You know, we milk them for a while and then they end up going to make beef. So before I chase that cow over to the trailer, I was just gonna take the scraper and show you kind of the job that the robot does just so you can see the difference. So it just has a scraper blade on it, similar to this. That's basically the job that it was doing. The whole barn all the time was just kept nice and clean. I walked into his barn there with my normal work boots on. I didn't even have manure up on the side of my boots at all, I guess. Uh, I was just, yeah, the floors were nice and clean. The, the slats seemed to stay cleaner you know, when the thing was running over more often. Looked even a little better than that does. We're really thinking if we can keep them clean like that, the, the stalls are gonna stay cleaner, cows are gonna be cleaner, our foot health should be improved. I just wanted to shout out the farm we visited. Josh was the owner's name. He watches my channel some. I don't know if he'll see this, but it was really nice to be able to see their operation, see how the, that little robot's working for them. You know, if I had space for this cow in the special needs pen permanently, it'd be a good spot for her, but 
We just don't have the capacity for that. It's just part of the deal. You know, these cows, I recognize them all. Not even by their number, just looking at their face, I'll know. And I can tell which cow's which. You know, they're not quite like pets, but I'm very familiar with the animals. It's working with them every day. You get to know them pretty well. This one's going to need a little bit more encouragement. I'll be back in hopefully less than half an hour. So I got that cow taken to the sale. I have some in order hole now. I'm gonna head down to the other farm down the road. I just cleaned up this scrape alley area. Normally we scrape it in the pit, but it just wasn't enough uh, moisture there today. Just gonna scoop out a few uh, spreader loads. Here's our bowl. Clean up bowl. Go ahead, go ahead. Shh, shh, shh. He doesn't seem to have a mean uh, side to him. Still gotta be a little careful. I got five spreaders out. Gonna go spread this and then we'll come back and put bedding in. There's a little more in there, but not enough for a full spreader. I gotta feed cows soon, so I gotta keep moving.
Okay, thanks for watching. I'm gonna clean my skid loader up. Mixed feed for the cows. See you guys later.